Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back out here to the 1980 series. And today, uh, it's a beautiful April morning, and we have to get started on planning. We have not a whole lot of planning to do, but we have enough. So we need to go ahead and get the shop unlocked this morning, and uh, we have to go fire up the 4840 to get her hooked onto the planner. Well, just unlocking the shop here, I forgot we have the 4020 in here still, so we're going to have to get that moved out to get to our planner here, and then we'll have to take a run into the co-op and uh, pick up some seed for us. But we're going to go ahead and pop this garage door open real quick, and uh, while that's while that's doing that we're gonna go fire up the 4840 well we just got this shed unlocked here i'm gonna go ahead and come over here we gotta we gotta check the oil and uh we're gonna go ahead and crank her up and hopefully she starts There we go. She fired up now. So while this is warming up, we're going to go ahead and go out and move the 4020 over, move it out of the way, and then uh, come out here and uh, move the 4840 and go get the planter hooked up. Well, we're just now on the 4020 here. We're going to go ahead and raise the front loader. We're going to go ahead and move this on out here. I think we're just going to go put it over here by the bins, and uh, we'll put it... Well, you know what? We'll just put it right here. Let's go ahead and undo the lock here. We're going to get this door open, and we'll get the 4840 peeled out here. The 4840 is going to be quite a big tractor for that uh, 750 cycle over there, and uh, it should do the job uh, pretty well, so we're going to go ahead and head on over there. Well, we're just now pulling on, backing on in here, and uh, we need to get out, and uh, let's see. No, don't take off the door. We'll, we'll go ahead and get this hooked on, and we'll catch a warm pulling out. Well, we just got everything put hooked up here, and we're just now pulling up. Uh, we have to go ahead and get this thing unfolded and we have to run through it first off this morning and uh, like i said this tractor is going to be a bit of a bit of overkill for it but it should do the job so we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and go look through this planter here and uh, once we get it looked through we're gonna hook up to the gooseneck and run into town and get some seed and that should do it so we have the planter look through now uh there's only a few things that i had to go through on it and uh, we're good to go with that now so we're gonna go ahead and go over here and start up the old uh, uh the old 79 ford here and get hooked up to the trailer and uh we're gonna go ahead and head on into town well we just got the gooseneck hooked up here and uh we're gonna go ahead and get on pulled out here and uh, we need to run into town here and uh, go get our go get our seed and uh, then we should be back and start planning and uh, hopefully get all all our planning done for the day well we're here at the seed place now um they're gonna go ahead and get us uh loaded here and then uh and then uh, we'll catch up pulling out of here well we're loaded with seed now we got about four pallets of new crow plant stuff uh hopefully that does pretty well for our farm uh we got some corn and some beans on and uh we have to head back and uh should have picked up some solid fertilizer but we don't have a we don't have a and k spreader right now so we're really kind of screwed on that. Um, yeah, so we have about 75 acres to hopefully get done today. And if we get all that 75 acres done, we can have a decent night just to lay around and relax. Well, we're just now pulling back into our farm here. We got a swinger real wide here, and uh, we shouldn't have any problem getting on in here. So I'm going to pull the truck on back over here, and we're going to start on this field right here. I think we're going to put it in corn this year. We're going to go ahead and park this right here. Let's go hop out real quick and take off the straps. Well, we just got the straps undone now. I'm going to go fold up the planter with the 4840, come over here, unfold it, and then we got to start chucking bags. Well, we're just now getting the planter back unfolded here, and uh, we're going to go ahead and back on in here and uh we have to start throwing bags in this uh in these bulk bulk bins here so we're gonna go ahead and do that and we'll catch you when we get done well we just got the last bag full here and uh we're gonna go ahead and uh start planting this and uh, we only used one pallet which was not too bad and uh, that's pretty good so we're gonna go ahead and get her, her lower down here and go ahead and start and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started planting here uh get our get our little parts done here and we're gonna we're gonna come out and see how it's doing for planting here and then uh, we'll probably put you guys on the time lapse so we're gonna go ahead and stop here and then go out and look well, just now coming back out here, looks like it's about an inch deep, which that's pretty good for corn, so we're going to go ahead and keep on trucking.
ladies and gentlemen, that's our first field done for the day, and uh, we're going to go ahead and move on to our next one. Well, we're just now here to our next field here, and this is going to be our last bit of corn for the year. So we're going to go ahead and get our planter back on folder here, and we're going to go ahead and get started. Well, this planter is unfolded. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do this off camera here, and we'll catch you when we get back. Well, we're just now getting things folded back up here. We got this field all knocked out done now, so uh, we can go ahead and head on back to the farm here. Uh, we have some other things we need to do. We need to start mowing some hay. Uh, the hay is just, just getting real tall. Um, this is probably going to be the first cut of the season here, and uh, we have to do that, and I think we're just going to do, I think we're just going to, we're going to turn it into hay, and uh, I think that's what we're going to move on to next here, and uh, we're going to go ahead and head on back to the farm here, and uh, we'll go get started on hay. Well, we just got the 4840 parked here, and uh, I don't think we're going to start on hay today. We acquired a piece of land from the neighbors over there. They had some weed on it, and uh, we never got around to cutting it last year, and uh, it's a good thing that we should probably go disc it. Uh, the 1206 is good to go, and uh, I'm too tired to dig out the uh, the field cultivator in there, so we're going to go ahead and fire up the 1206 and uh, go hook onto the disc. Well, we just got the old disc hooked up here, and uh, we're going to put her in gear and go ahead and pull on out here, and uh, we're going to go ahead and move on to our field over here. Uh, it's about 15 acre field here. It's a it's a pretty beefy sized field, and it'll do the job, and uh, hopefully we might be able to get corn planted on it next video. I'm not quite sure yet, but it's probably best we can go... Uh, um, we should go plant that and we should go disc that up real quick and uh, so we can get a nice seed bed for being able to plant being able to plant either corn or soybeans on it and uh, it'll create a nice seed bed for it. So we're going to go ahead and do that real quick and we'll go ahead and put you on a time lapse of doing it and we'll catch you when we get done. Man, what was that? Ooh, that did not sound good at all. Hold up and go ahead and raise her up real quick. I'm gonna go out and look at these little disc parts here. Like these ones are good, these ones are good over there. Oh. So we got a broken disc blade now. Um, I hope town has one because otherwise then we're done for the day. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, fold this up and we're gonna take it on back to the uh, shop there and uh, it'll be probably quite a bit of work to put this uh, disc back on and uh, hopefully we can do that and uh, it'll be just fine for us and so we're gonna go ahead and uh, head back out here to the farm and uh, we'll hopefully get this piece fixed well, we're just now pulling back into the farm here. Uh, we don't have any place to put this right now, so we're going to go ahead and unfold it back here, lower her down, and then uh, we'll take the truck on into town. Hopefully they have this. I'm not quite sure. But if not, then we're kind of screwed, and um, yeah, then we're, in a, then we're in a real sucky place here. So we're going to go ahead and lower her down and uh, shut this 1206 off, and we're going to go ahead and fire up the F-250 and head on into town and uh, get that part for us. Well, we're just now pulling out of the dealer here. They did indeed have the disc, so that is a good to have and uh we're good to go now so we'll go home and uh put that part on and then we should be back to go and uh ready in the field well we're just now pulling back into the farm here uh we have the part now so we're gonna go ahead and go get this thing put on here and uh we'll catch you when we get done and that should do it so we did get the part in. It was it was been a few hours now, and uh, I'm real tired. I don't think we're gonna go out and finish disking tonight. So I think that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, hope you guys are enjoying the 80s so far. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one.